Good morning. It is day 16. Uh, we just left Locust Grove Gap. Um, it was a pretty small area, but there were like maybe 15 tents set up there last night. So um, we met a cool guy. He has his own YouTube channel. It's uh, Prospector. Um, if you go into YouTube and you type prospector and ice fishing, um, you'll be able to find his channel, but he does more like ice fishing videos and then he just kind of decided to do the AT. So he's a real funny guy. Um, and then we also met a few days ago, met a girl named 25 Mile and she has a YouTube page called Campfire Jubilee. And she's real sweet, so check out her page as well. Um, we are like less than 16 miles, I think, to Fontana Dam. Um, we have a reservation for Monday at the Fontana Village, so we may have to change that to Sunday, um, just depending on how we, uh, how, how far we make it today, because today is Saturday. And if we only have 16 miles, I don't know. We'll see. Um, today we have Jacob's Ladder to go over. Uh, I don't know much about that, but I've heard it's pretty hard. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes too. Good morning, sunshines. I just saw some comments from uh, the video where I was talking about stinking. Well, I'm proud to say that I have gotten the situation under control. I started wearing deodorant. That improved it by like 70, solid 70%. And uh, for my feet, I started wearing my merino wool sock liners. That improved my feet stink by 100%. So, I'm good there. Amy, how are you doing? What? How are you doing, girl? Too great. Uh, energy's done well, but... Your knee has done well? My energy has been low. Oh, energy's been low. Yeah. Yeah, yesterday, well, yesterday, I felt kind of the same way. I felt really weak. Didn't have that much energy. I was struggling. I wasn't sure if it was because of these insoles going from a zero drop shoe to like a, a regular drop shoe. If that was affecting us using, you know, different muscles, I'm not sure, but we definitely felt it. We stopped for lunch yesterday. And when we got up after lunch, our, our Achilles tendons were like extremely tight and it was hard to walk for the first like 10th of the mile. And then they loosened back up. I was a little afraid that this morning our feet were going to be really bad because of that because the outfitter guy did warn us to uh, switch out the new insoles with the old insoles so like every three hours or so to give our feet time our bodies time to adapt to it we didn't do that we just did 10 miles uphill yesterday and uh on today that felt all right it felt pretty much like the day every other day i'm a little worried about my left foot something wrong with it i don't know what's wrong with it but it's still lingering around in the mornings when i first get out get out of the tent i can hardly put any weight on it at all and it takes like several steps of just kind of like bouncing around before i can put weight on it and it still hurts really bad and then once i start hiking the pain drops like dramatically and it's just like a a faint pain all day long so the the insoles which is the main reason i got well not the main reason one of the main reasons that i got the insole it's uh it's definitely helping with that because my foot doesn't flex because of like the plastic insert in there so my foot doesn't flex nearly as much I just got the support so that's helping a lot but i don't like how they feel i like the zero drop feel a hundred times better i think amy switched hers back out to this morning aren't you yeah she took her insoles her super feet insoles out 
just because the, the altar is... Yeah, you just... Yeah, that's exactly it. You can't feel the ground. It did just feel a lot better. But I think once my foot starts healing up a little bit better, I'm going to switch back to the normal insoles. But I'm going to hang on to my super feet until I get into like the real rocky country. Because I just know those rocks are going to kill my feet. And I will definitely wear the super feet through that stuff. So we just got some awesome trail magic at the gap before Jacob's Ladder. There's some folks down there, uh, some pass-through hikers, hopeful. Uh, it's like their 20th year doing trail magic there. And uh, they had a really nice spread there and super friendly. We sat there and talked to them for a while. Uh, they had a scale, so we got to weigh ourselves. I haven't lost any weight yet, which is amazing. That's one of my big concerns is losing weight. I don't really have any weight to lose. So still holding strong. Amy looks like she gained a couple pounds. Girl's eating good out here in these woods. <laughs> but uh yeah, it was great man. Uh they had chairs there, canopies to it wasn't raining, but if it was raining you could get out of the rain. Hot dogs. Baked beans, potato salad, had everything. A bunch of sweets, a bunch of cookies. They had like a like double chocolate Oreos. They're like pre-packaged in baggies for us to take. Which that's like oh that's my jam there. I took a bag of those. Honey buns. Oh, sodas, it was great. Amy grabbed the water to go because we missed the last water spot, which is like 0.3 before the gap. Next one's like two and a half up, so. Amy's a thirsty girl, so she grabbed an extra bottle of water. Uh, but I didn't yeah. Know you, they, they Oreos for you. Yeah, you don't see the bag hanging in the back of my bag. Uh, can you share? Yeah, I got. Oh yeah, girl. I didn't know. They're double chocolate Oreos. They look amazing. Uh, but yeah, I'm super full. I drank two sodas. I have a cramp right now. Kind of hurts, but pushing through it. <laughs> uh, I was a little worried about this uh, Jacob's Ladder, but they were saying it's only like the steep part. It's only like a third of a mile or whatever. Regardless, it should be less than a mile, so really not too worried about it. Uh, I'm ready to get over it. We're going to we got a reservation in Fontana Village for Monday. Today is Saturday, so I just moved that up to Sunday. Sunday's supposed to be a crappy day anyways, so i uh, We'll probably just be in the rain for a short period of time. Uh, today, we could have made it all the way to Fontana if we wanted to. It would be like a 17 mile day. But with our injuries, uh, it's uh, wouldn't be smart. Although I do want to go, but no point. So we're going to find a spot somewhere closer that way. So we have like a super short hike in the morning. And I call it a day. All right? Oh, Amy back there. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to mention that hopeful it's his birthday. So happy birthday. And he does this for his birthday every year. So that's really cool. Takes time out of his birthday to come out here and help hikers. He's a at least two time through hiker. I'm not sure if he's done it any more than that. But definite two timer. That's pretty cool. Can you even remotely how how steep this is this is like it's got to be 60 degrees up it's steep <sighs> holy crap jacob's ladder is no joke we're done it's hard 
it's hard, but we're gonna keep going. I just took a break and I'm still breathing this hard. Just a minute ago, I could hardly breathe. Oh. I don't know how high this is, but I'm struggling to breathe up here. Well, you know, when you're trying to keep a pace. But, getting up this ladder. Some point, I'm gonna reach the top, and it should be pretty easy going. But we're not there yet. Oh. Feels like my lungs are gonna explode. Doing some cardio exercise. Come climb these mountains, man. Holy crap. All right, break time. Can't do it anymore. Come on, Amy. You can do it. Come up here and tell us how you feel. Oh, fatty, putting on weight. I know. When is this thing? Put blush on today. Top. Jacob is no joke. Right, is that where it stops? The top? Yeah. You're saying the top. Uh, I don't know if that's the top. It's probably not. I heard something about fall summit, so. Lots of them. Amy is totally slacking on vlogging for you guys today. So here I am, picking up the slack. Somebody's gotta do it. Amy often likes to use the hoverboard. If I can pull a technique over like the hard terrain, like the rocks, she'll just she'll hold her trekking poles out in front of her and just float them over the rocks like a magic carpet. Right? What? <laughs> I don't know what you're saying, Yvonne. Oh, nothing. Well, I'll see it later. <laughs> Not if I don't send it to you. Look at that foot placement. You see that foot placement? Wow. Hardcore. Watch, 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 watch. Just <laughs> <laughs> doing some digging around online and talking to some other hikers. I think narrowed it down. I'm pretty sure I have that plantar fasciitis crap on my left foot. So that sucks. I realized today that it's not actually my heel that hurts. It's like this area in between that and the ball of your foot. And uh, it's been extremely painful all of today. You know, it hurt really bad. First few steps of the day. Then I warmed up to it. Went away. And then within like an hour or two, it came back. It started hurting really bad. And it doesn't normally hurt really bad. 
during the day. Today was the first day that it has. But we stopped for lunch, a good 30 minutes or so. Oh, my pop's like 800 milligram ibuprofen. My foot feels amazing now. And uh, we're finishing up our day. We got like two miles left. It'll be like a, I think it's 14.7 mile a day for us today. And that'll leave us just like a few miles, I think three miles into Fontana where we're gonna go into the village and stay tonight. Um, I figured, you know, we're, we're gonna stop in Gallenberg anyways. So if my foot's not better by then, I'll, I'll stick my head in a, at a doctor's office and see what's going on on my foot. But I think it'll be fine. It just needs to work itself out, I guess. But anyways, that's the plan. We're stopping at Fontana Village, resupplying, and going to uh, Newfound Gap, getting off there, going to Gallenberg, staying the night there. And uh, I think from there, our next plan zero will be Hot Springs. But that's the scoop on what's going on right now. There comes Amy. Amy, how you feeling? Don't ever eat a full meal at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Yes, yeah, 3 o'clock we stop for hot. some food. We're both tired. And Amy busts out her dinner. Like one of those, uh, uh, what are they called? Mountain, Mountain houses. And she just like ate, eats the whole thing. So she's not feeling too great now. Whew. I lost all of my energy. I, uh, after that trail magic, I was loaded with energy, man. I drank two sodas, all kinds of food. I was loaded. I was set for that Jacob's Ladder. Plenty of energy for that. Although my lungs couldn't really keep up. But, uh, after we stopped for lunch, everything, I lost it all. I ate a bunch of snacks and stuff, but no energy now. So we are stopping for the night at this little stealth campsite. And in the background, I don't know if you can see it, but that's uh, Fontana Dam and the Great Smoky Mountains. So tomorrow we'll have a few miles into Fontana Village and uh, we'll stay there for one night. And then um, the next day it's on. We're headed into the Smokies. All right, change of plans. We're not gonna stay at that campsite that I showed y'all earlier. Uh, there's a high wind advisory for this area beginning at midnight. We're not really sure what the weather is gonna do. So we called the lodge. They do not have any availability tonight. We do have a room booked for tomorrow. Um, I'm. 99% sure I need to call them back and verify again, but I was cut off because service. Um, so we are headed to the shelter. Hopefully we can find the spot to pitch our tent. <sighs> Lots of struggles out here, but we'll let you know if we're alive in the morning.